All of Battlestar Galactica may be happening again. According to reports, the popular TV franchise will be heading to the big screen in hopes of becoming a massive event franchise for Universal Studios. Producer Michael DeLuca is teaming up with Scott Stuber and Dylan Clark to revive the property that ran as a critically acclaimed sci-fi series from 2004 to 2009. DeLuca most recently produced Fifty Shades of Grey and Dracula Untold. Christian, should Battlestar fans be getting their hopes up? <sighs> Those last two titles... Man, uh, look, I love Battlestar Galactica. It's one of my favorite TV shows, the new ones. And uh, that scares me that Michael Duluc is doing it. It scares me a lot. Um, Fifty Shades of Grey and Dracula Untold, not good movies. Uh, so I, I don't know, is Ron Moore not involved at all? Do I we, haven't heard his name in it. Uh, I'd like to have him involved. Yeah, so uh, they, he clearly was the guy that knew how to bring this back. And, and because you look, there still hasn't been a show like that to be able to do it with the budget that they had to make it look that real and to add that kind of drama. Do I think that this could work? Absolutely. And I think it's ripe for a, for a big screen adaptation. I just, those two titles, you know, we're in a town, we're in a business that it's what have you done for me lately. That guy has not really given us anything to be excited about. It doesn't mean I'm not excited about the property, but I am very skeptical. Right. And to be fair, Michael DeLuca has a longer track record than just Fifty Shades of Grey and Dracula Untold. But you're right. What have you done for me lately? And lately you had a studio that wanted to make a tentpole franchise in Dracula and revive all these monster movies. And one of the guys responsible for that failure was Michael DeLuca. Now, look, truth be told, I'm not a huge Battlestar fan simply because I haven't taken the time to experience it yet. I, unlike somebody else at this table, have never canceled a date because I wanted to watch the next episode of <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> But everything I hear from you Natasha, and from, that was actually Natasha. Yeah. Yeah. Natasha Canceling did that. Canceling dates that all the time. That poor bastard. <laughs> but look, it, it actually sounds like <laughs> one of the more reasonable excuses to cancel a date is because it's so full of not only human intrigue, but political things that are going on behind the scenes. And then you also have this epic space adventure on top of everything. It sounds like something that a lot of fans would line up to see if it was done right. But if it's not done right, I'm telling you this right now, the fans are going to be able to smell it from the very first first teaser trailer that comes out you're gonna know if you did it right or if you're heading down the toilet yeah i'm apprehensive because i don't know which way they're gonna go because the, i love the tv series just like christian did but that was kind of a dark gritty kind of more adult themed show are they gonna make this more of a you know a sci-fi sci series but more like polished and kind of like shiny and bright I hope not. And, and, we don't know because, yeah. it, you know, they're going to sink a lot of money into this thing. They may go that route and try and get the mass audience. So we don't know. And yeah, Michael DeLuca, he's, he had some stinkers lately, but he's also done some good stuff. He did a, a Moneyball social network in uh, Captain Phillips. So okay. it's not like he did like every movie he, he produces is crap. He just, you know. He probably like you know has a hit and miss. Record. He's in the yes. business of making money, is what it sounds yes. like. Well, look at those those three movies that you the, the hits yeah. were like Oscar drama yeah. pieces. That when he it's like it seems to be when he's going after the big budget kind of popcorn movies mm -hmm. that they're not working so far. So hopefully he can take what he did well with those other ones yeah. and add them to these popcorn. Now, movies. Let me put it to you guys: Can you make Battlestar Galactica as a mixture of a big budget popcorn summer fair, but also have that darker side to it, a lot like maybe what they want to do with Blade Runner too? Yeah, I think so. Inception did it. Inception had a big had, had a big summer feel to it, and was very kind of had deep. And I think when Inception came out in that in that summer season, everyone was like, "Oh, this is no, this should be an Oscar movie in like mm -hmm. November," and it wasn't. It had that scale. There, it, you, so, there's so many movies that, that have come out in the summertime that that blend. I mean, Winter Soldier did it, I thought too. So there, it can be done. All right, and then also uh, we got to see who the director is because sure. I think Brian Singer was rumored around this project maybe a few years ago. In He's, 2014, he was rumored yeah. to be circling hmm. it, and then he obviously got that revival with directing X-Men films. So yeah, so it, it really depends on that. Either way, it looks like my girlfriend's gonna have to find another day for Valentine's Day because I got some TV to watch. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.